Okie dokie, so in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to create a push animation with auto animate all in Adobe XD. Hey guys, you're watching Dansky, the place to be to develop your creative skills. And in this tutorial, we're gonna jump back into Adobe XD and I'm gonna show you how you can use auto animate to create a really smooth push animation. So we're gonna have a homepage design. The menu is gonna slide in from the side with a bit of staggering to add some visual magnificence as well. It's gonna slide back out. It's gonna look really slick. And if you would like to follow along with this tutorial, there's a link to download the XD file in the video description. I can't give you the Adobe stock image that I'm using. I probably would end up in a bit of legal trouble if I did that, but you can add your own image or you can use XD's plugin, Photo Splash to just get your own images in there. And you can just unpick the file if you'd like to see how I did everything. So if you're ready to follow along, we're gonna jump to the screen now and we'll get started. Rightio, so we're now in Adobe XD. You can see we have the design of the homepage. We have a fictional brand, Hella Yellow, and we have yellow, of course, as the theme. And then we have the menu designed over here. Now, before you do any auto animating, please name your layers. It doesn't matter what naming system you use, uppercase, lowercase, underscores, hyphens, whatever it is, just have some kind of naming system and name all of your layers because auto animate uses those layer names to determine which layers it should be animating. If you don't name them, just trust me, it can get all kinds of crazy. So yes, you've named your layers or if you're working on this file, you can see by clicking on this, we have a folder here and I've named all my layers here. And if I click on this main artboard here, you can see we've got all these layers named. I've been a good boy. So everything's nice and organized, but because we're going to be doing a push animation, we're going to need to group everything together so it all moves as one. If you want to animate things individually, you can leave them ungroup, but the entire homepage needs to shift to make way for our sidebar menu thing. So that's gonna come in, so we have to group everything together. So at the moment, if I go over here, you can see the side menu, it's in its own group, which is fantastic. On the main one, everything is separate. So first things first, we're gonna drag over everything, or you can hold shift and select everything in the layers panel. And what we're going to do is right click and select group. And I'm gonna go up to this and just call this, we'll call this homepage dash content. Okie dokie, so everything is now named. What I'm going to do is actually select the artboard and press Command or Control D on the keyboard to duplicate. And I'm gonna call this one Menu Open. And then what I'm gonna do is actually go and grab this folder here with the side nav in. And I'm gonna drag this, if I just zoom out, I'm just gonna drag this onto this artboard and it's gonna sit there. And you can see it snaps nicely, which is good. So this is what it's going to look like when the menu's open. And of course we need to now grab this group here and just shuffle this along. And that snaps as well, which is fantastic. So there we go, we have our two states. We have the menu closed where it's hidden and then we have it open here. So what we need to do now is actually set up an animation for this. So if we jump over into prototype mode, we can zoom in here. This icon is gonna be the trigger. This is the menu icon. Now you can see it selects the whole group. We don't wanna link the entire group. We just want to link that menu icon. So what I can do is I can double click to go inside this or I can just expand the folder from the layers panel. Either way is fine. We're gonna select the menu icon. Now, because I want to animate and use the menu icon as a whole thing, I don't want each line to be individual. It does have its own folder here. So that's good practice for icons that have multiple pieces. And now I've selected this, I can link this to the second artboard. And of course we have a tap trigger. The transition will be, or the action rather, will be an auto animate. And you can choose any type of easing you like. Ease in out is always a good bet. And I'm gonna do 0.5 seconds for the duration. That's how long the animation will be. If you'd like yours to be slower, just increase this value up. So press return. And then what I'm actually going to do is click on this artboard now, the open one, and I want the close icon, that's the cross, I want that to be the way that the user reverses that animation and hides the menu. So of course we're gonna to need to double click to go inside this group, make sure we can select the cross or the close icon. And now that one, we're going to link this back. And you can actually set the whole transition thing again uh, and have it the same. Or what you can do is just set the action to previous artboard. 
What it does, keeps things super simple, just reverses the transition that was used to enter the artboard and then just, you know, plays it back. It's a really clean, easy way of working. So there we go, that's great. We've got that all set up. Now what we need to do is jump back into design mode up here. We need to grab this menu and we actually need to put it outside of the other artboard. So with it selected, we can go to edit and copy. I'm gonna jump back over here, go to edit and paste, and it will paste it in exactly the same spot. And because I've set up the auto animation, when I drag this outside of this artboard, it won't go onto the pasteboard, it will still stay connected to this artboard because XD recognizes that there's an auto animation and that, hey, we're trying to bring something in from outside the artboard. So it won't put it on the pasteboard, it keeps it as part of the artboard, which is really useful. Now you could have yours hiding just outside the artboard and it will just quickly whip in, or if you have it all the way out here, it will swoosh in. So it depends on the speed that you would like this to come in, but it will happen over the course of five seconds. So whether you have it close or further away, it's entirely up to you. But I could hit the play button now and we can just get a taster of how this is looking. So our menu icon, we click, slides in, cross, slides out. Okay, so that's all good, right? We're done. Well, not quite. At the beginning, I mentioned staggering. Now, this is a technique you can use, particularly when you're auto animating, to just add a little bit of visual finesse to your auto animate, because auto animations can look really, really cool. And we're just going that step further to make it look as good as it possibly can. So how am I gonna do this? Well, I'm gonna click on this artboard here. Now, at the moment, everything slides in together all at once. What I'm actually gonna do is double click to go inside this group, and I'm gonna select all of these individual elements, and I'm gonna literally stagger them in terms of position. Now you can use arrow keys on the mouse if you want to have one 10 pixels out, one 20, one 30. I'm doing this the quick way using the mouse. It's probably the fastest way because nobody will be able to tell the difference. It literally happens in like milliseconds. So you can see I've staggered this. So home is gonna arrive first, then the store and those links, then the about, then the contact. And if I play this now, you can see the difference. It just all slides in with that staggered animation. And I could even emphasize this even more. So we could double click to go inside the group, move this out, move this even further out. I know this seems crazy, moving it this far outside the artboard. And you might need to space your artboards a bit further apart. But if I play this now, you can see we get that nice smooth staggering animation and it reverses it as well. And the only other thing that I've just noticed is that we need to fade out our menu icon. So we're gonna double click to go inside here, make sure we've got that folder selected and we'll just drop that opacity down. So this is where those layer names are super important. XD will detect that this menu icon here changes opacity on this one. So finally, when I click this here, I'm just gonna bring this down just so you can see, just so it fits on the screen. When I click the menu icon, it slides out, that fades out completely. Then when I click the cross, the close icon, it fades back in. And there we go. So that's how to create a slick, staggered push animation for something like a side menu on a homepage. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you do have any questions or comments, you know what to do, drop those down below. But as always, like this video if you enjoyed it. Take care and I'll see you next time.